Announcements and Messages, a new way to communicate with your students on Personal Finance Lab. Here's a scenario. You have something important you want your students to remember while they're playing the games, like the due date of an assignment or the fact that the class uh, turn, uh, stock game is ending soon. And you want something attention grabbing that they really can't miss. So what are your options? Uh, this introduces our new announcements and messaging system, a great way to post important information for your students on Personal Finance Lab. There's two different systems here. Uh, the first one is the announcements. The announcements lets a teacher post a message which will appear on the right hand side of every page while their students are using the site. And the second is our messaging system. The messaging system lets you post a message to your students' inbox that they'll see when they log in. Let's take a look at how they work. First, let's take a look at announcements. The announcements is the persistent message that is going to appear throughout the site while the student is using it. As the teacher, I can post an announcement by going under administration and then post a message. There's two parts of an announcement. There can be an image that appears at the top and then there's the, less, the uh, annou announcement content, which can be either text or this even supports HTML content. So for example, let's say I want to have an image at the top. I can choose an image here. First, I can choose an image that I want to appear at the top of my announcement, and this would be any file that's on my computer. So I'll just choose this picture as an example. I chose the image and then I click upload. The image appears here. I just chose the first image I had on my hard drive, but you can choose anything. This could be, for example, the logo of a sponsor who's helped funding your class game. And then below here, I can write the message that I want to communicate. And from here, I can press save to post my announcement. Once my announcement is posted, on all of the pages that your student are going to go through while they're using your class game, they're going to see the announcement posted to the right-hand column right at the top. So if they're in the stock game, the budget game, or anywhere else, they'll see exactly what you wanted them to remember. You can clear the announcement at any time by going back to the post a, post a message page and then just deleting it. Next, we want to talk about the messaging. So let's say you want to post a message to your students that they can go back and review any time. Remember, there's only one announcement available, but you can have many messages in an inbox. Students have an inbox at the top of the page right here next to their username. And if they have an active message that they haven't read yet, it'll also appear on their student dashboard. As the teacher, you can post an announcement to your students by going under Reports and go to the Registration page. At the top of the registration page, you have the option to message all users. This will post a message to their inbox. I'm going to click this now and post a message to all the students in my class reminding them that this week's assignment is due soon. Just like the announcements, uh, box with the messaging you have the option to use HTML content in the message itself for example if you want to include a link if you need help with this you can always contact your account manager or support team once you post a message it will appear for all of your, your students in their inbox so as a student if I go back to my dashboard I would see that's a teacher dashboard to the student dashboard they have an announcement here they have a new unread message and at the top of every page, they see they have an unread message waiting for them. After they view this message for the first time, they'll no longer be notified about it, but it'll still stay in their inbox unless they choose to delete it. The messaging center is also used for the stock game to notify students when something happens important to their portfolio. For example, Twitter was bought out last year and I sent a message from the system. Uh, the teacher didn't have to worry about that, it was by a support team letting them know that their Twitter position was removed. They'll also get notifications about things like dividends. Some important things to keep in mind for announcements and messages is that the announcements are a great way to post persistent reminders. Students are going to see that message on every page they go to. That also means you probably don't want to overuse it, that way those students don't kind of get blind to the message you're trying to make there. But, for example, if your school is getting sponsored for your personal finance lab license, this is a great way to honor those sponsors. The messaging tool is a great way to communicate to the students who may or may not be there in person. So for example, if you have your students going through some of the months in the budgeting game while they're on break and there's something you want them to remember while they're progressing, you can use the messaging box to let them know. And very also important is that the students cannot post their own announcements or messages. This is a tool only available to the teacher. So a student cannot send a message to another student's inbox that is not supported in our system. 
So with that in mind, happy learning! If you have any questions about the announcements or messaging feature, contact us at support at personalfinancelab.com.